I'd like to talk to you for a moment, if I may, about type 2 diabetes. Over the last several years, here at our clinic, we've been conducting very targeted research on the treatment of diabetes, and I'm happy to say are now in the process of preparing some of these case studies for publication. If our research is accurate, I believe that the nutritional guidelines that presently support the treatment of diabetes are not only wrong, but are dangerous, and the ignorance surrounding the nutritional management of diabetes is helping lead to a rapid escalation of this disease. Allow me to explain. Diabetes is, according to World Health Authorities, one of the single greatest health epidemics of our time. I want to give you some quick historical perspective. In the early 2000s, as part of the development of HealthScore, I was asked to give a series of lectures on lifestyle medicine. A section of my slides were dedicated to diabetes, and I, was, and I always began with the series with a, with a, with a couple of quotes. One, that, one um, that I can recall was that diabetes is the single greatest epidemic faced in our society. Then I'd go on to the prevalence and then the projected escalation of this epidemic. Okay, at that time, early 2000s, it was estimated that 151 million people had diabetes globally. Now, according to World Health Authorities, it was expected that, quote, by 2030, it was believed that 324 million people will have diabetes. Now, at that time, I'd look around the room and expect to see faces painted with sheer terror. Instead, it was mostly apathy. Here's the mic drop. We're now sitting at about 450 million people with diabetes. The growth has been, exponential, has been exponential, and what's worse, no one is sounding the alarm. Moreover, the guidelines released to treat this epidemic, written by experts, may actually be making this epidemic worse. 